In computing, the Internet Message Access Protocol is an Internet standard protocol used by email clients to retrieve email messages from a mail server over a TCP, IP connection. IMAP is defined by RFC 3501. IMAP was designed with the goal of permitting complete management of an email box by multiple email clients, therefore clients generally leave messages on the server until the user explicitly deletes them. An IMAP server typically listens on port number 143. IMAP over SSL is assigned the port number 993. Virtually all modern email clients and servers support IMAP, which along with the earlier POP3 post office protocol are the two most prevalent standard protocols for email retrieval. Many webmail service providers such as Gmail, Outlook.com and Yahoo Mail also provide support for either IMAP or POP3. topic email protocols the internet message access protocol is an application layer internet protocol that allows an email client to access email on a remote mail server the current version is defined by rfc 3501 an IMAP server typically listens on well-known port 143, while IMAP over SSL IMAPs uses 993. Incoming email messages are sent to an email server that stores messages in the recipient's email box. The user retrieves the messages with an email client that uses one of a number of email retrieval protocols. While some clients and servers preferentially use vendor-specific, proprietary protocols, almost all support POP and IMAP for retrieving email, allowing many free choice between many email clients such as Pegasus Mail or Mozilla Thunderbird to access these servers, and allows the clients to be used with other servers. Email clients using IMAP generally leave messages on the server until the user explicitly deletes them. This and other characteristics of IMAP operation allow multiple clients to manage the same mailbox. Most email clients support IMAP in addition to Post Office Protocol to retrieve messages. IMAP offers access to the mail storage. Clients may store local copies of the messages, but these are considered to be a temporary cache. Topic: History. IMAP was designed by Mark Crispin in 1986 as a remote access mailbox protocol, in contrast to the widely used POP, a protocol for simply retrieving the contents of a mailbox. It went through a number of iterations before the current version 4 Rev 1 MAPI 4, as detailed below. Original IMAP The original interim mail access protocol was implemented as a Xerox Lisp machine client and a TOPS20 server. No copies of the original interim protocol specification or its software exist. Although some of its commands and responses were similar to IMAP2, the interim protocol lacked command response tagging and thus its syntax was incompatible with all other versions of IMAP. Topic: <laughs> IMAP2 The interim protocol was quickly replaced by the Interactive Mail Access Protocol IMAP2, defined in RFC 1064 in 1988 and later updated by RFC 1176 in 1990. 
IMAP2 introduced the command response tagging and was the first publicly distributed version. Topic <laughs> IMAP3 IMAP3 is an extremely rare variant of IMAP. It was published as RFC 1203 in 1991. It was written specifically as a counter proposal to RFC 1176, which itself proposed modifications to IMAP2. IMAP3 was never accepted by the marketplace. The IESG reclassified RFC 1203 Interactive Mail Access Protocol Version 3 as a historic protocol in 1993. The IMAP working group used RFC 1176 IMAP2 rather than RFC 1203 IMAP3 as its starting point. IMAP2 BIS With the advent of MIME, IMAP2 was extended to support MIME body structures and add mailbox management functionality create, delete, rename, message upload that was absent from IMAP2. This experimental revision was called IMAP2 BIS, its specification was never published in non draft form. An Internet draft of IMAP2 BIS was published by the IETF IMAP Working Group in October 1993. This draft was based upon the following earlier specifications, unpublished IMAP2 BIS, TXT document, RFC 1176, and RFC 1064 IMAP2. The IMAP2 BIS, TXT draft documented the state of extensions to IMAP2 as of December 1992. Early versions of Pine were widely distributed with IMAP2 BIS support Pine 4.00 and later supports IMAP4 Rev1. Topic: IMAP4 An IMAP working group formed in the IETF in the early 1990s took over responsibility for the IMAP2 BIS design. The IMAP WG decided to rename IMAP2 BIS to IMAP4 to avoid confusion. Topic: <laughs> Advantages over POP. Topic: Connected and disconnected modes. When using POP, clients typically connect to the email server briefly, only as long as it takes to download new messages. When using IMAP4, clients often stay connected as long as the user interface is active and download message content on demand. For users with many or large messages, this IMAP4 usage pattern can result in faster response times. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Multiple simultaneous clients. The POP protocol requires the currently connected client to be the only client connected to the mailbox. In contrast, the IMAP protocol specifically allows simultaneous access by multiple clients and provides mechanisms for clients to detect changes made to the mailbox by other, concurrently connected, clients. See for example RFC 3501 Section 5.2 which specifically cites, "...simultaneous access to the same mailbox by multiple agents." As an example, 
Topic: <laughs> Access to MIME message parts and partial fetch. Usually all Internet email is transmitted in MIME format, allowing messages to have a tree structure where the leaf nodes are any of a variety of single-part content types and the non-leaf nodes are any of a variety of multi-part types. The IMAP4 protocol allows clients to retrieve any of the individual MIME parts separately and also to retrieve portions of either individual parts or the entire message. These mechanisms allow clients to retrieve the text portion of a message without retrieving attached files or to stream content as it is being fetched. Message state information Through the use of flags defined in the IMAP4 protocol, clients can keep track of message state, for example, whether or not the message has been read, replied to, or deleted. These flags are stored on the server, so different clients accessing the same mailbox at different times can detect state changes made by other clients. POP provides no mechanism for clients to store such state information on the server so if a single user accesses a mailbox with two different POP clients at different times, state information—such as whether a message has been accessed, cannot be synchronized between the clients. The IMAP4 protocol supports both predefined system flags and client-defined keywords. System flags indicate state information such as whether a message has been read. Keywords, which are not supported by all IMAP servers, allow messages to be given one or more tags whose meaning is up to the client. IMAP keywords should not be confused with proprietary labels of web-based email services which are sometimes translated into IMAP folders by the corresponding proprietary servers. <laughs> Multiple mailboxes on the server IMAP4 clients can create, rename, and or delete mailboxes usually presented to the user as folders on the server, and copy messages between mailboxes. Multiple mailbox support also allows servers to provide access to shared and public folders. The IMAP4 Access Control List (ACL) extension (RFC 4314) may be used to regulate access rights. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Server-side searches. IMAP4 provides a mechanism for a client to ask the server to search for messages meeting a variety of criteria. This mechanism avoids requiring clients to download every message in the mailbox in order to perform these searches. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Built-in extension mechanism. Reflecting the experience of earlier Internet protocols, IMAP4 defines an explicit mechanism by which it may be extended. Many IMAP4 extensions to the base protocol have been proposed and are in common use. IMAP2 BIS did not have an extension mechanism, and POP now has one defined by RFC 2449. Disadvantages While IMAP remedies many of the shortcomings of POP, this inherently introduces additional complexity. Much of this complexity e.g., multiple clients accessing the same mailbox at the same time is compensated for by server-side workarounds such as Mailder or database backends.
The IMAP specification has been criticized for being insufficiently strict and allowing behaviors that effectively negate its usefulness. For instance, the specification states that each message stored on the server has a unique id to allow the clients to identify messages they have already seen between sessions. However, the specification also allows these UIDs to be invalidated with no restrictions, practically defeating their purpose, unless the mail storage and searching algorithms on the server are carefully implemented. A client can potentially consume large amounts of server resources when searching massive mailboxes. IMAP4 clients need to maintain a TCP, IP connection to the IMAP server in order to be notified of the arrival of new mail. Notification of mail arrival is done through in-band signaling, which contributes to the complexity of client-side IMAP protocol handling somewhat. A private proposal, Push IMAP, would extend IMAP to implement Push email by sending the entire message instead of just a notification. However, Push IMAP has not been generally accepted and current IETF work has addressed the problem in other ways see the Lemonade profile for more information. Unlike some proprietary protocols which combine sending and retrieval operations, sending a message and saving a copy in a server-side folder with a base-level IMAP client requires transmitting the message content twice, once to SMTP for delivery and a second time to IMAP to store in a sent mail folder. This is addressed by a set of extensions defined by the IETF Lemonade profile for mobile devices, URLAUTH RFC 4467 and Catenate RFC 4469 in IMAP and Burl RFC 4468 in SMTP submission. In addition to this, Courier Mail Server offers a non-standard method of sending using IMAP by copying an outgoing message to a dedicated Outbox folder. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Security. STARTTLS can be used to provide secure communications between the MOA communicating with the MSA or MTA implementing the SMTP protocol. Topic dialogue example This is an example IMAP connection as taken from RFC 3501 Section 8, C, S, Asterisk OK IMAP 4 Rev 1 Service Ready C, A001 Login MRC Secret S, A001 OK Login Completed C, A002 Select Inbox S, Asterisk 18 Exists S, Asterisk Flags Answered Flagged Deleted seen draft s asterisk two recent s asterisk ok unseen seventeen message seventeen as the first unseen message s asterisk ok uidval idity three billion eight hundred fifty seven million five hundred twenty nine thousand forty five uids valid s a o o two ok red right select completed c a o o three fetch twelve full s Asterisk twelve fetch flags seen I N T E R N A L D A T E the seventeenth of July nineteen ninety six two hours forty four minutes and twenty five seconds O seven O O R F C eight hundred twenty two size four thousand two hundred eighty six envelope Wednesday the seventeenth of July nineteen ninety six two hours twenty three minutes and twenty five seconds O seven O O P D T
IMAP4 Rev1 WGMTG Summary and Minutes Terry Gray Nil Gray CAC.Washington.edu Terry Gray Nil Gray CAC.Washington.edu Terry Gray Nil Gray CAC.Washington.edu Nil Nil IMAP CAC.Washington.edu Nil Nil Minutes CNRI Reston VA US John Clinson, nil K L E N S I N M I T Adu, nil nil body text. Plain Charset U S ASCII, nil nil seven B I T three thousand twenty eight ninety two S A O O three Ock fetch completed C A O O four fetch twelve body header S asterisk twelve fetch body header three hundred forty two S date Wednesday the seventeenth of July nineteen ninety six two hours twenty three minutes and twenty five seconds O seven O O P D T S from Terry Gray S. Subject IMAP4 Rev 1 WGMTG Summary and Minutes S. to IMAP at CAC.Washington.edu.S. CC Minutes at CNRI.Reston.va.us. John Clinson S. Message ID S. Mime version 1. 0. S. Content type. Text plain charset equals US ASCII S S S A O O four Ock fetch completed C A O O five store twelve plus flags deleted S asterisk twelve fetch flags seen deleted S A O O five Ock plus flags completed C A O O six logout S asterisk by IMAP four Rev one server terminating connection S A O O six Oc logout completed. Topic See also List of mail servers Comparison of email clients Comparison of mail servers IMAP idle Post Office Protocol POP Push IMAP Simple Mail Access Protocol Webmail